My name is Lee Courier, founder and chief executive officer of NextGen Energy. Founded in 2011, NextGen Energy brought together leaders in the resources sector across all components of the mining life cycle. Our objective, to discover and develop a world-class operation to deliver clean air energy fuel to the current and future generations. The discovery of the mighty Arrow deposit at the Rook One project in 2014 was the first stage of achieving that objective. Today, after incorporating the best practice in every aspect of the project's elite environmental performance, we're at the exciting stage of submitting our environmental impact study, a combination of over 10 years of detailed data collection and analysis. On review and approval of the environmental assessment, the Rook One project will deliver enormous economic, social and community benefits at the same time becoming the largest supplier of carbon-free baseload energy fuel and demonstrating Canada's leading commitment to the rest of the world. I welcome you to watch this short presentation and join the NextGen team in advancing this generational opportunity for all. Rook One has the opportunity to be something bigger than itself. And this is a really unique property. I mean, it's, it's an incredible asset, but an asset something in the ground. And really for us, it's about how do we use that vehicle to create as much positivity as possible for as many people as possible. We made a discovery, a really exciting uranium discovery in 2014, Valentine's Day actually, it was a nice Valentine's Day gift. And uh, ever since then, we've just been really developing this, knowing that it's gonna be the largest uranium mine in the entire world. We are triple listed now. We're on the Toronto Stock Exchange, we're on the New York Stock Exchange, and Australian Stock Exchange. And this has been able to broaden our investor group and allow for us to be in this well-funded position. I mean, it really is world-class as a geological phenomenon, but also because it's providing uranium for the world's future green energy. So the space that this exciting project will take up is actually very, very small. It's about the size of Mosaic Stadium where the Saskatchewan Rough Riders play. It's very minimal surface footprint, but very significant in terms of the economic ramifications from the project. Over just the initial 11 years of mining at Arrow, it will generate roughly $4 billion in provincial revenues and taxes and an additional $1.6 billion in federal tax revenues. This means $19 billion in economic output generated nationally, including $17.5 billion provincially as a result of $11 billion in GDP and $2.2 billion in paid wages. Thousands of jobs being created, direct and indirect, high paying locally sourced jobs throughout the lifespan of the project. The amount of people that have been brought into this team, you know, and the diversity within the team as well, whether it's consultants or contractors with local communities, it's a pleasure to come to work with people who are just as passionate as you are, and the opportunity to, to learn and collaborate is, is something that I really treasure. We're ensuring that we get people that are thinking in a new way about developing a project. In my experience, this has been the first project that I've worked on with that extreme level of integration that, that's worked so well. Joining NextGen was a bit unique for me. I joined the company in the throes of COVID and spent the first eight months with the company working from home. But what I think that underscored for me is how collaborative and solution driven the team is and the company is because it was a successful eight months. What attracted me to this organization was the commitment of the CEO and the board and the senior leadership. So our CEO really helps us understand that vision. As he would say, we're all leaders in this organization and we all conduct ourselves in a way that's going to benefit Saskatchewan and Canada. And that tone and that guidance, I think, really helps people understand how they need to deliver. Elite standards for me personally means the ability to do things the absolute right way. Having that strength of vision and, and having that being unwavering, even you know since 2011, when you're walking the talk, I think that's something that everyone wants to be a part of. A few of the technically elite elements of our project include a decision to store our tailings underground in a facility. So what that means is we are taking the ore waste and the waste that we produce in the mill, we combine them with cement so that it will fit into the geotechnical and also the geochemical characterization and the stability when the tailings is deposited 
our ability to minimize our surface impact and allow for progressive reclamation is leading edge and hopefully will be a game changer in the mining industry across Canada and globally. The water management infrastructure at Rook One is another example of elite technical standards. It's designed to accommodate and withstand the highest levels of precipitation to ensure that we leave the lowest impact on the environment. We have a group of leaders in the team that have the same mindset to help protect our planet. The uranium mining industry fuels reactors that remove 500 million cars off the road of CO2 every year. And NextGen's Aero project will remove 70 million car equivalents of CO2 every single year. There is not a single asset of any other kind in the world that can address that amount of CO2 annually. The discovery of Aero and the potential that that has for our community is going to be huge, right? Not only La Loche, but the area the Northwest region and Saskatchewan. Not just employment or job seasonal, it's the long term, the careers that we can reap the benefits of and have some sustainability and build that economy in the lodge. It provides those students an opportunity to be at camp, to learn about what's happening there hands on. They can have a career path. They can decide, this is the area that I like. I want to pursue this. And then now they have an avenue and with the scholarships that NextGen provides allows for that to happen. NextGen's relationship with the community is one of partnership, one that we've taken a very long-term approach to. We are incredibly proud to have signed benefit agreements with the local communities. What this agreement does for our First Nations and our people is, is going to make a tremendous change. We have so much potential within our people and an opportunity given to them like this, you know, training programs, looking after the elders, the youth, it goes on and on. It's just going to be tremendous. We are going to raise the bar, elevate, all of those aspects in the community that's important. We've gone through many years of working with NextGen, building a relationship, taking our ideas, our direction, and you know, putting it on paper. And for your success, we, we have to be successful as well. This is just the beginning. Yeah. There's more to come. There's a lot more to come, and it's working in partnership, we're gonna do it. Over the past seven years of working with NextGen, the way they have engaged us and the resulting of the mutual benefit agreement prove they are different. They are willing to commit to a long-term relationship where our voices can be heard and there is a strong communication between us. The team here is ready. We've got the people, the skills, and the experience in this province, in this office, to make this project work. And people will look to this as an example to build other projects, I believe. It's not every day that you have an opportunity to really elevate a country back into the number one spot of doing something. And this project has that opportunity, and it's right in front of us. We want to impact everyone in the most positive way possible. Often in the mining industry, specifically, legacy has such a negative connotation. I think probably flipping that script of using this as an example of what a project could look like and something that people can look back with pride on, whether they were working with NextGen directly, indirectly with NextGen, they were part of the conversation, they provided knowledge, whether that be local or indigenous knowledge, or you know they were on the regulatory team that people can look back of as an example of things that were done right. The opportunity is generational and clear. The dedication and commitment of the NextGen team has been demonstrated from the beginning and is foundational to the future successful optimization of this very important project. I want to thank everyone we've been working side by side with. The communities, the governments of Saskatchewan and Canada, their regulatory bodies and our valued investors. Their contributions to date have been greatly appreciated. We are committed to this generational opportunity that's in front of us. We're ready.